strategize together. Let's hear it from an expert. Join the conversation, it's informative and free. You and me, let's talk some strategy. Now here's your host, to read more in Van Dam. Hey, 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 everybody. Yes, it's me, Doreen Moore and Van Dam. Thank you so much for being with us here live on Tuesday, 10 a.m. Eastern. Um, I have a super special guest here with me today. Before I reveal who it is, I want to welcome everybody. Thank you for those who are here live. Please let us know where you're joining us from. If you're listening to this podcast, I want you to know I appreciate you very much. Strategy Talks is a live talk show that's available on YouTube, but can also be listened to on podcast in all your favorite uh, podcast listening areas. Um, I also want to do a shout out to our sponsor, Social Insider. Um, they are the intuitive dashboard for social media analytics, reporting, and competitors analysis for brands and agencies. Social Insider, thank you so much for sponsoring us week after week after week. So without much further ado, I have a very special guest, like I said. It is my very own brother joining us from the Netherlands. For those of you who are not familiar, I was raised, I was born and raised in the Netherlands and all of my family is still there. And um, so I asked my big brother, I have three brothers, my big brother is here today, um, Harian van Dam. Uh, and Harian, welcome to Strategy Talks. Thank you for this introduction. <laughs> Yes. Big brother. Yes. yes. That's the first time. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, um, Harian and I grew up uh, in the Netherlands in the 70s and 80s. And as we were talking in the green room about company culture, um, it kind of, there was definitely an alignment with how we grew up. So, Harian, um, your philosophy on, you know, you're, you're CEO, you have led um, sports companies. Um, you've been the CEO of uh, soccer clubs, um, uh, hospitals, laboratoriums. You, you've been interim director of the National um, Cycling Association of the Netherlands, right? So your philosophy is all based on trust. Can you talk a little bit about how that relates back to our childhood and how our parents raised us? Because I think that's a great analogy. And, and I want to preface it with not everybody in the Netherlands was raised this way or is raised this way right now, but we certainly felt that. And so uh, when you started talking about trust, it immediately made that connection. So I'm going to turn it over to you. Let's talk about that a little bit. Well, you, you ask a lot. Uh, well, when I think about um, uh, the past and about our childhoods, then it's about trust. Yes, that's true. Um, I was cycling to another village uh, 10 kilometers by bike by, uh, by myself when I was 10 years old um, it was a different time of course but it was uh, also the trust uh, we got I got we got and this happened also with um, my first um, jobs to work when I was uh, young at 12 year 14 years 16 years uh, this was with my sport I was a cyclist and um, yes I traveled um, with friends and other persons to Europe, I mean countries in Europe, uh, through the Netherlands, um, it was um, it was all about trust, yes, and this is um, a basic value, I guess, I get from my parents, how they did it, and um, maybe unconscious, but I, I used it also, yes, in my own family, but also uh, in Europe. Yeah, so I, I, you know, you you were about four years older than I am, um, and between us is a sister. So growing up, you kind of did your thing, and I know that you did a lot of stuff on your own. You had jobs really early. I remember being on a train, on a three-hour train journey when I was 12 years old by myself without a cell phone or whatever, know. you know, <laughs> having to change trains. I did that. Yeah. I went camping when I was 15 with my friends, right? So there was definitely yeah. that yeah. innate yeah. trust between our parents and us. So you come from a sports background. I think that analogy is great. When we talk about the importance of company culture, um, let's talk about both from the side of 
you know, how you relate that to being a CEO of a company and a company culture that you show, right? That you, um, because it all comes down to when you're the CEO, you set company culture, right? You, you're the, you're the one who sets it. It comes from the top down. Um, and so how does that relate to you being a national cyclist, right? You're, you're, how, how does yeah. that relate to that? Yeah, and, and this is uh, not um, um, in a certain period or something. So it just grew step by step. And okay. you are not conscious. And after a while, you, you reflect and you think, oh, wait, this is maybe because of this. And this is how it goes. And of course, you became not at certain moment to see. Yes, you became a, at certain moment the CEO. But this is also a growing part of, of uh, different career steps. So it's, it's step by step and you grow in this position and then, and, and and this all, um, when I reflect to my sports career, um, it's about goal setting. And it's about uh, training with discipline. And it's about, um, it's not always fun. It's always with, uh, with um, uh, difficulties. Uh, maybe one day, maybe in the week, maybe in a period because you get uh, injury or something. So it's, it's all about... Um, uh, experienced um, in the good times and the bad times. It's about goal setting, what I say. And it's also about um, evaluation. So did you get and reach the goals or not? And what happened and why? And in a, in a way, this is the same like business because you make a business plan, a year plan, a, a, a several years plan. Um, and you, 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 you set the goals, you, you talk with the, with the people. It, is it, is it, um, uh, what's the word? <laughs> is it comfortable in a way? Is, is yeah. this what we can reach? Is this um, are these the good goals? And maybe they make them also. So it's it's all already cooperation. Um, you start working, and things happen. Of course, this is real life. So things happen. You check and balance and uh, evaluate, and you make new goals. Um, and this is in a way a bit cycling, but this is also in business. It's 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 rather similar. Yes, of course, different, but in a way the same process. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I I talk a lot about strategy for social media. You know, mm -hmm. um, as a social media strategist, that is one of the first things I do when I work with a client. I'm like, what is your goal? Why do you want to be on social media? And by the way, just telling me you need to be on social media because your friend is telling you to be on social media. That is not a goal, right? Why yeah. do you want to be on there? And so I love that you just brought that up. It's all strategy. Company culture is part of that strategy, right? And, and how yes, you are sure. going to, how you for are sure. bringing in the voices of all the people in your culture. Now, I know that you um, just, you were head of a laboratory where there was a lot of mergers, right? So mm -hmm. you've, yes. you you merged several companies or helped merge several companies yes. and helped yes. a company through that transition. What are some of the mm -hmm. things or strategies that you had to implement um, to align everybody? You know, like there's yep. one lab here, there's one lab here, one lab there. Let's talk about some of the some of the ways that you got people to really be able to talk and and you know see eye to eye on things. Yes. Uh, well, this is an, and a lot of questions, and it's also because this was a period of, for example, eight years, and um, during those eight years, uh, it's step by step. It's step by step. For example, one of the most important things is to be clear in the goal, in the in the goal, the same goal, the same um, topic. That's not the good word, I guess. The same. Um, and results? Process, yes, and results, the same few idea about the future. So okay. keep continuing this few. Not uh, this year a little bit left, next year a little bit right, and do different. The vision, so the vision, yeah, the vision. Keep the vision clear and, 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 and hold it and okay. communicate. Communicate, communicate, and not only abstract, but also in a simple way, in the way of yearly goals or yearly steps or... Um, and and be close to the people. So this is the first. It's because it's about process. It's about people. It's about systems. Um, and it's um, it takes like cycling or like other sports. It takes a long breath taking. So it takes a long period. So keep calm, step by step, 
um, explain and communicate. So this is the, the, the basics. Do what you say that you're going to do. That's mm. one of the most important things. And be the example. So if you say that they should do like, or, or do it by yourself also, because that's the, one of the basics. That's with kids also. And uh, but this is also in business. It's, it's not so uh, difficult, I guess. But this is um, uh, the basic. So hold the line. Uh, be clear, communicate, give the example, the right example, and make steps um, and be also um, uh, proud or, yes, proud. So be proud. So, um, yes, we have some Frisian words for this and I cannot uh, <laughs> repeat, but, of course. Like, it's, well, it's, it sounds like you're saying um, celebrate all the milestones as you make them. Be Have pride in uh, what you're doing. Right. Yes. Yes. But it's 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 um, 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 be proud is it's it's sometimes so simple because once I started with the company, it was just uh, um, um, demerged and and um, so what's the name? Where are the pens? It's so simple. Where's the flag? Uh, where's the PowerPoint uh, format? Uh, it's it was not. So who are you? Yes, I'm not. I'm nothing. Uh, so be proud. Make your name. The branding um, part. The branding uh, part. Branding identity. Ident it's identity. about identity. Make Ooh. your identity. Make your identity. Be proud. And this is also step by step. Um, and rather conscious in doing. So it's identity of business. It's it's it takes a long breath taking. So it's yeah. it's years. It's years. And um so uh, bring it to the people, again, talk. Um, what is the, the basics of your company? What are you standing for? Why, what, how? You know this. This, yeah. is, uh, yeah. this is still always. And of course, you should, um, because the world is changing, so it's not fixed or something, not eight-year fixed. That's, that's the most stupid, of course. It should be adapted to what happened also. Uh, but in a way, you can hold the line for those years. Um, and what I realized, and this is maybe, or what I learned, that's maybe better. Um, it's really important to have also uh, to do new things, to 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 show the world, or to show your employees, or that that um, you are in front, you are a front runner, and you want to do to be the best or the expert or the professional or uh, the newest uh, technologies or. And this is difficult for people because people like a lot to do the same over years because change is difficult and maybe it's uh, oh, what will happen with my position and, uh, and all, all issues. But if you take the time, if you explain and if you give them the freedom and the responsibility again, also in the innovation part of this, they will go. That's fantastic. So what I hear you say is as a leader, you um, certainly lead by example, right? So you do what you ask of them, uh, which is really, really, really good. And then you're giving that freedom, that trust, where at the beginning of the conversation, we talked about that as children, we both experienced that, you know, obviously with the same parents, <laughs> brother and sister, but having that given, giving that trust to somebody in the workspace and saying, I know you can do this, go innovate, go, go try new things. Um, and then they, what you said in the green room is they work harder. They are get, they, ex, they're excited about the project. They take ownership of it. And I think yes. that was really important. And, and when you, when you tie that back into sports, um, you know, when we talk about, you know, you've, you've been a trainer and you've had trainers, right. When you were growing up as a, as a mm -hmm. teenager, mm -hmm. and then in your early twenties, you had different trainers that helped you get to that level that you wanted to get to. Um, but ultimately, who was responsible for the outcome? It's always yourself. So yeah. this is the first step, always in reflection. But um, realize or remember or think about it's it's the same time to give this, um, um, this freedom or this um, responsibility. Uh, but it's not without borders. Mm. So there should be borders always, in a way of disciplines also. It's not a totally freedom. And if 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 after a trial and it's not go it, because not everything is is hundred percent or is, is is successful. But if people distrust or um, uh, well, 
it's 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 not a free place for 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 yes a lot of fun of course we should have fun also but it's it's not a free place to do something what you like to do and without any consequence or or discipline or so when this is not functional and this this because not everybody can handle this responsibility mm-hmm. um or this freedom um yes yeah, sometimes it's the opposite necessary so you should um say goodbye but um uh, my experience is with this that it's um it's it's also depending on the discipline in the company so um uh, there are several teams or several um it depends on what you're doing in the business so it's 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 not for every business but in general for i'm more experienced in professional teams and this work with professionals Right. Okay. So yeah, I, I, this is fascinating because I was just about to say the word team and there you were saying it. Um, so with working within a team and thinking about what just happened two years of a pandemic, you know, we're just getting out of that. So you were already eight years ago when you started working with this company that was going through these mergers, you were already giving people responsibility. So what happened two years ago when people had to work from home? Did your company experience difficulty that people say, oh, I don't know how to do this? Or did they say, hey, we can do this. We're up to the challenge. What company culture, What did company culture play a role in how this went down for the company that you were working in? Well, uh, yes, um, but we had a... We, we, Yes, we were a laboratory, a medical laboratory. So we were in the middle of the pandemic. So it's so and and everybody was sitting home. But we should go. We should go to the laboratory because all this uh, COVID testing should be necessary. And we and we did it. So yeah, for that for that part of the country, of course. Um, so um, and people feel this responsibility, and um, um, and they were there. Uh, instead of maybe sometimes frightened or, or scared, that's maybe a better uh, word. Um, um, and yes, what happened, especially in the beginning with um, shortage of uh, materials, um, they find solutions. That's one. And uh, in the beginning, when the scale up should be started, um, um, they worked hours and hours. It was it was more than only uh, six or eight hours and a new shift. No, it was it was twelve hours and it was seven days a week. It was almost day and night, and this was how they felt it should be. Um, and at the same time, it was sometimes scary uh, home because the kids were also home. Some people get sick, so it was the total of this um, um, period. What happened was the responsibility find new solutions. Um, and yes, we were also in the middle, so we felt this responsibility for the for the national healthcare in a way also. So, right. So this right. is, uh, but so it it it's it's not fully familiar. But um, and for this, and this is maybe um, a good example. Um, I'm not working on the laboratory by myself, but I feel the responsibility to go to the lab also. Right. To be to show them I'm here. This is what what's what's necessary. But that's because because you're a leader, leader. right? Yes. 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 That makes sense. So um, trust is really the foundation of how you lead a company and how you um, show company culture, right? That was the most discipline and trust. Um, Is there anything else that you can think of like another ingredient that you feel like that's needed to make this work? Like say, um, you know, you've worked in sports, right? Professional sports teams, um, healthcare. uh, What else did you say? Um, The cycling federation, diagnostic. um, And so they're very, in a way, regulated, right? They're very regulated areas, um, especially hospitals. Um, Is there anything else that needs that, that, um, that is necessary in that kind of company culture? Is there a lot of checks and balances? Is there um, anything else that, that, that we could talk about that's important? I love that you, that you talked about identity, um, the brand identity and being proud of that. Um, and as a, as a country, uh, the Netherlands already kind of has that, right? We are a very proud country. Um, the Netherlands, you know, when we go to the Olympics or when we go to soccer, 
you know, you see the Dutch and the orange and it's everywhere. So that's kind of in our country culture. And if you then relate that to company culture, um, I kind of like that idea of showing that you are proud yeah. of that. Um, is yeah, there anything else proud. we can add to that? What? Yes, yes, yes. It's also about stubborn. Oh, okay. Being stubborn, yes. meaning what? Uh, well, we have all the Dutch. They find they have always a meaning about everything. An opinion. Yes, opinion. That's that's uh, yes. That's yeah. yes. We have always opinion. <laughs> and, uh, uh, and and this is not this is it, it helps a lot, yeah. but sometimes it's it's difficult because what kind of meeting I have uh, always there is someone yes but or <laughs> should we do this and uh, the Dutch culture is to give this freedom and the opposite of this I mean to give a lot of freedom is that it it's never came to a decision so you should make rules how to come to decision otherwise there is always one who is smarter and is more stubborn and start discussion again. Um, so also this is in make a border of, of red till with what point you want to discuss and then we made the decision. Otherwise there will be no decision. Um, mm. And I like it, but it's sometimes it's more difficult because it asks more, um, yes, communication skills in, in, in what's the border of, of this uh, freedom to to discuss. The Dutch discuss about everything. And there are countries who are more um, from from above and this is this is what you should do, point, no discussion. And right. we and and it helps about this responsibility, about this freedom, what we talk about and the proud. But uh, and they will fight and they will go and they will work. Um, with enthusiasm, with energy, with new ideas. But um, yes, sometimes it should be a little bit um, uh, well, bored. Or what's the name? Yeah, please? okay. So yeah, you're talking about um, hi hierarchy, right? And, and if we compare that to models, it would be like the Catholic Church, right? You have the Pope and then the bishops and you know, well, the information it, comes it top down. Business or stuff. Right, it can, <laughs> and then you can do that in business as well, right? So the CEO yeah. makes a decision and then it goes down like that. So the Dutch are more, they're, they're um, used to giving their opinion for sure. Um, I mean, just look at the political system in the Netherlands that has a lot of different um, parties. While in the US where I live, uh, we basically have two main ones, maybe three, and that's it. So you're either this or that. And the, the other opinions in between uh, don't necessarily get their voice heard. Um, so I, I love that about growing up in the Netherlands, that yes, we can always, uh, and, and that's a difference. Um, in the Netherlands, when I go visit, and I visit, you know, when I go visit my family, there's always um, dialogue. And not necessarily yes, discussions, always, but dialogue. Yes, but, yes. And did you think? And what do you think about this? And uh, this is my opinion. What you? It's always, always. Yes. That's but, a, and this is, yeah. Respectfully. Yeah, 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 yeah. And this is also what should be in the company. Yes, for sure. Right. For sure. And so and, and one and of I my rules. Yeah, well, I, yes? I think that's a big difference, though. In the U.S., a lot of times, those kind of discussions are impossible it becomes very quickly a them against each other. Oh, so instead oh. of being able to voice an opinion, it's like you're either for or against something. So the mm -hmm. idea that you can have a discussion without having a clear winner, but actually having a discussion about something is very much a Dutch phenomenon, I think. Yes, uh, the dialogue, you say. And yeah. um, one of my favorite quotes is that it's not about... We are not screaming. We are not uh, um, mapping the doors, or it's just normal talk. We can listen, yeah. listen, listen, please, and try to think about what, and then asking, asking, and uh, of course, it, there's again there should be borders because if you don't set the borders, then it's going endless, and no decision will be. So you should be have, but but in a way, we are from dialogue. Yes, yes, yes. and it's not everywhere in Holland, of course. Eh? Be clear, but. Uh, yeah. In my, what I, it's, it's about my vision, then it is. Yeah. In, in your company culture. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. Yes. Boundaries are, it's important to have those boundaries, but within those boundaries have that safety of being able to say you. Yes. You tell, this is basic. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So you, yeah, yeah, you yeah, tell your is, employees, yeah, you yeah. can, you can talk, you can give your opinion. This is a safe space. And that's really important. 
but if this is not, if there is no safe space, nobody will uh, will ask or do say something. So right. if there is no, but this is yeah, but this is so fundamental for me. It's so logic, but this is the basic. Yes, for sure. Mm-hmm. Everybody's allowed to say what he or she wants to say without any consequence about your job or something. Right. Yes, there are also there are reporters, but it's yeah. about normal behavior. That's okay, but that's not the case in a lot of companies. So your company culture, the importance of that is that you show that you, you um, embody that when you lead a company. So I love that. Harian, we are out of time. So people can connect with you on LinkedIn. Um, I put it up there on the screen. Um, I love that I got to get you on my show. Uh, Appreciate that very, very much. I Always love talking to you and very proud of all of you accomplished. And um, you have a new startup, right? Are you working on something new? Yes. I want to give some of my experience as a CEO to younger or starter CEOs, not by coaching, because coaching you can guess a lot about, but it's about practical help in a way. So sometimes give solution or sometimes only listening. And this is, um, yes, in Dutch, there's a special word for it, but um, uh, this is a, a joke word in a way um, linked to my cycling career. Yeah. Um, and um, because it's about steering, steering a company, steering on the bike. So this sure. is the connection. Yeah. Uh, but it's it's about practical help. Um, you are sometimes alone. You you. You don't know is it left or right, what to do, what to go, and um, sometimes it's 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 um, it's a pleasure to to help for me, but it's also for the other one. It's a pleasure to ask someone. Yeah. Uh, not by huge and what do you think by yourself and no, just the practical help. Yeah. You should do this, and this is sometimes, uh, and this is my startup. Yeah. And um, I start already also in the new. Um, collaboratory organization uh, as CEO. So this is also. Excellent. Excellent. Well, when the new startup is off, I'm going to share with my network on LinkedIn and everywhere else when you're ready to mentor in a way those and help practical help yep. for yep. Um, startup CEOs. That's fantastic. Um, so connect with Harian on LinkedIn. Um, let him know that you listened to Strategy Talks or you watched the show. Um, Harian, thank you so much for being here with me today. And um, I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye. And I will be back next week. Bye, everybody.